Hi there, today I'm going to show and tell you how to use the video description service on the BBC iPlayer. Now, according to their website, the description, the video description, is available on over 20% of their content. On the BBC iPlayer, video description is referred to as audio description, as it is on most Freeview players. And what it does is it allows you to hear a commentary that describes body language, expressions and movement of what is happening on the screen in between the normal dialogue. It's been developed as an aid to understanding and enjoyment, particularly but not exclusively for viewers with sight problems. Now, I was requested to make this video by a subscriber as they were not sure how to use audio description on the Amazon Fire Stick. Now, that's not really that surprising as the use of audio description, although available on most iPlayer platforms, it's not a uniform tool across all of them. Each platform has its subtle differences. So in this video, I will show and tell you how to use audio description on the BBC iPlayer, on the Amazon Fire Stick, the Apple TV, on an iPad and or iPhone, and on a computer norming, uh, using a normal Windows browser. So let's start with the Amazon Fire Stick. From the home page of the Fire Stick, we can select our BBC iPlayer app as normal. Once that has opened, we then select categories. And using the control ring on the remote control, we want to scroll to the right until we see audio described. Now, upon selecting this using the center OK button on the remote control, the list of all the BBC iPlayer content with audio description is then displayed. Scrolling up and down and using the remote control, we can select the program we want to watch. Once we've selected the program, it will automatically open that program with AD, audio description switched on. So we just press play to enjoy the program with the audio description service running. Now for the slight differences on the Apple TV. On the Apple TV, scroll down using the remote control and open the BBC iPlayer app as normal. When the BBC iPlayer app opens on the Apple TV, we need to scroll up on the remote for the menu to be displayed. When the menu is displayed, we select categories again, and then scrolling to the right using the Apple TV remote until the audio described is highlighted. And then select this by tapping the remote, and then we see all the BBC iPlayer programs with audio description. Again, scrolling up and down using the remote control, we can select our program by highlighting and then tapping. The program will open with the AD button highlighted. However, unlike the Fire Stick, it is not default. So we must press the AD button, not the play button to start the program with the audio description active. Audio descriptions also available on BBC iPlayer app on the iPhone and the iPad. So now I'll go through how that works. Open up the BBC iPlayer app from your iPad or phone screen by tapping as normal. Then we need to open up the menu from the home screen. Now this is annoyingly tucked away in the top left hand corner in small text. But by tapping on the menu it opens our full options including categories. And then by swiping left on your screen to move the categories to the right we again to come to the audio described option. Tapping this will take us to the BBC iPlayer program list with audio described services enabled. We tap to select our program and on the iPad this only gives the play button as the option to play. However, this play button will open the program with audio description enabled. You can, of course, use the BBC iPlayer on a computer. After all, that's where it all started. The audio description service is again a little bit different, so I'll go through that now. Firstly, in your browser window, you need to type in www.bbc.co.uk forward slash iPlayer. Then from the BBC iPlayer homepage, we can simply select categories. This will open up below all the category options and we can easily select audio described. 
And again, this opens up all the BBC iPlayer audio described programs. And it also gives you the option to view them in a featured order, an A to Z order, or the most recent order. So once we've selected our program, we're taken to a default audio described option, explaining both at the top and the bottom of the screen that this is an audio described program. So we just press the play button to start the program. Now, I hope this video has been useful for you. If it has, do give it a thumbs up and a like. And if you've any queries or questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch using the comments below. And if you'd like me to make a video for you on any geeky, techy subject matter, please let me know. And if I can, I will. Um, I'll be making more videos like this with sort of less used options on media platforms. So do subscribe to check those out. Uh, do check the channel out and do share the video with anyone you think might find it useful. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.